Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a keeble of thanks from the Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. In reply to his keeble of congratulations on appointing Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba as Crown Prince, the Kuwaiti Emir expressed heartfelt thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier for his fraternal feelings lauding the strong historic relations between both countries and people. He wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lasting good health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputised the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President his Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to attend the final match of His Majesty the King Football Cup final. Maharak won after beating Hid 1-0 in injury time. On the occasion, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, SCYS chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid tribute to His Majesty, healing his support to sports and the youth sector in Bahrain. He commended landmark sports achievements in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, congratulating Maharak Club on winning the trophy. His Highness commended the achievement of Maharak, praising the efforts exerted by the players, as well as the administrative and technical staff. He praised Maharak players on their outstanding performance in the final, healing the spirit of fair play, as well as technical dedication to win the trophy. His Highness praised the technical and administrative preparations undertaken by the Bahrain Football Association, the BFA, chaired by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Ahmed Al Khalifa, which ensured the success of the cup final. He commended the role of companies which sponsored the final match of His Majesty the King's Football Cup, healing the keenness on setting up partnership with the BFA. At the end of the match, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad presented Maharak players with gold medals and the trophy, conveying the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King. He expressed pride in attending the final match on behalf of His Majesty the King, praising Royal Car for sports which contributed to the honourable achievements and bolstered the Bahrain standing on the continental and international sports map. He praised the vision drawn up by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to develop football in Bahrain. His Highness congratulated Maharak on winning His Majesty the King's Cup for this season, extending congratulations to the club's board, chaired by Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa. He also congratulated the BFA for organising His Majesty the King's Football Cup final amid exceptional circumstances resulting from COVID-19.
Council of Representatives Speaker Fazia Zanal thanked the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. In reply to Her Royal Highness's cable on the opening of the third session of the fifth legislative term by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Speaker affirmed that Her Royal Highness's cable reflects a vision and support for the role of the Parliament in promoting the development process established by His Majesty, which created the role of the Bahraini women and gave her all the opportunities needed to participate in the development and progress of the nation. She emphasised that the achievements and initiatives of the SCW are a subject of pride for Bahrain and its people. Zinal stressed that Her Royal Highness's efforts to support women and promote the role in the community is the main reason for Bahraini women's success. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fazia Zanal, made a statement in which she affirmed the importance of enhancing cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities in order to achieve the desired objectives as laid out in the speech of His Majesty the King. She praised the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in elevating the level of cooperation between the two authorities to serve the national interest. Zanal also praised the ongoing efforts of Team Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince which made Bahrain amongst the best countries that have coped with the pandemic. She said that the Representatives Council is keen on containing the effects of the pandemic and on following up on the government's initiatives on all levels for the benefit of the country and its citizens. <coughs> the Representatives Council held its weekly meeting, chaired by its Speaker, Fazia bin Abdullah Zainal. The Council approved proposals submitted urgently and referred to the government on education ministries expediting the distribution of laptops to students, as well as strengthening the ministry's telecommunications network, while reducing prices for guardians in general and low-income families in particular. The Council also decided to intensify monitoring of e-products and adjusting prices for consumers. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, affirmed the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to increase the speed of correspondence between the committees of the representatives and the Shura Councils, reflect the content of His Majesty's speech. He also praised the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the ministries and other public sector organisations to speed up the correspondence with the representatives and Shura Councils. He said that these directors reflect the government's faith in the importance of the cooperation between the two authorities which guarantee the ongoing process of development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Al Saleh added that the cooperation with the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, have contributed to many achievements and that it will improve the performance of the Legislative Councils. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its ordinary session remotely, chaired by its President, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Council hailed the speech of His Majesty the King during the opening of the third session of the fifth legislative term, affirming that its contents are a comprehensive work plan for the next stage of the reform and modernisation process, whose foundations were set by His Majesty. The Council also praised the Royal Commendation of the Honourable Work in Handling the Pandemic, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Council noted the Royal keenness on developing plans for achieving health security, anticipating health risks, enhancing Bahrain's status in this regard and focusing on developmental fields with added value. It affirmed that this speech is focused on supporting and enabling the youth, as well as investing in sciences and the latest future technologies and knowledge, is the foundation to building a secure and prosperous future, led by His Majesty the King. The Council congratulated Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa on joining the Muslim Council of Elders, in appreciation for his efforts and long experience in Islamic work and an affirmation of the Council's role in the Kingdom and its leading status. The Council then discussed the topics on the agenda where it lauded the Royal Decree, naming the members of the Board of Trustees of the Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies. The Council concluded its session with reviewing two requests to print Bahrain's Quran and distribute it inside and outside the Kingdom. Bahrain government schools started the new academic year via distance learning temporarily as the Ministry of Education made great efforts and preparations throughout the summer vacation to be able to provide a comprehensive virtual study method. 
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited the Joint Support Center between the Information Systems Department and the King Hamad Schools of the Future project, which is concerned with following up and facilitating all that is related to activating and using digital learning tools, especially the educational portal and virtual classes. The Minister praised their efforts in this important aspect. The many support channels, whether at the level of schools that communicate with students and parents on an ongoing basis or through the telephone numbers provided by the public and technical education sector, in addition to the instructions, pictures and videos posted on the ministry's pages on social media sites to clarify all that is related to accessing students' accounts by digital means. We would like to wish you a very happy and distinguished year. This is a very special year. We're ready for it. All the students, teachers, and parents, we're ready to use EduNet, we're ready, we're ready to use Teams. All teachers and, uh, and students were really useful for using these, but this year we're coming with all the preparation, all the passion of using it. We have already spoken to our students and spoken to our teachers how to be prepared for it. And from this day, the first day, we've seen how students are really excited for the coming year, how ready they are for it. I will wish all our students, all Bahraini students, all the best and good luck all. The minister stressed that the ministry sought to provide the new academic year requirements for distance learning, noting that digital learning is represented by the King Hamad Schools of the Future project, which was launched in 2005. The minister added that lesson schedules, activities, discussion sessions, and the recorded TV lessons will be uploaded to the educational portal in addition to YouTube channels divided according to classes. We thought that COVID-19 will cause a crisis for all the world's educational system. But here in Bahrain, we faced all the difficulties by providing all the technological resources by the Ministry of Education, such as virtual classes, central classes, Regarding the problem of the basic education students, as they may not be able to follow the lessons on the Microsoft Teams application on their own in the morning, the minister stated that the lessons will be automatically saved on the app for the students to recap with their guardians at any time of the day. The Ministry of Information launched a new platform for Bahrain television and radio within the framework of technical projects implemented by the ministry to enhance the media message. Upon launching the platform's application, the Ministry's Undersecretary, Dr. Abdurrahman Mohamed Baha, said the new platform aims to reach all smart device users and represents a qualitative addition to the achievements made in the media and communication sector. He hailed the efforts of Team Bahrain in the Ministry and the follow-up of Minister Ali bin Mohamed Aramehi. He also affirmed the launch of the application reflects the continuity of development and affirms the unlimited efforts made by citizens for their country. The Undersecretary explained that this platform is managed by an integrated team from the General Directorate of Technical Affairs and the General Directorate of Radio and Television and includes the live broadcast of all Bahrain TV channels and radio stations in addition to archive materials. Bahrain participated in the 67th session of the WHO Regional Committee for the Eastern Mediterranean, which was held remotely with the participation of health ministers and high-level representatives from 22 countries to discuss developments in the COVID-19 pandemic, its direct impact on morbidity and mortality rates, its wider impact on essential health services and on WHO's future strategy. During the meeting, the Ministry of Health Undersecretary Dr. Walid Almana stressed Bahrain's proactive efforts in facing the pandemic and what it has made by harnessing capabilities, providing medical supplies, facilitating clinical trials and providing the best diagnostic and treatment options. He highlighted the government's efforts in combating the pandemic through initiatives and programmes such as the Bahrain Visions Forum and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to establish a working group affiliated with the UN under the name of Friends of the UN Secretary General with the aim of mitigating the effects of the coronavirus in addition to His Royal Highness's initiative to launch the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for the Bahraini Doctor and allocating the first Wednesday of November every year as a day to honour distinguished Bahraini doctors. The Ministry of Health urged society to continue adhering to strict compliance with precautionary measures set by the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19 to protect themselves and their families 
and contribute to curbing the spread of the pandemic. The Ministry stressed the importance of abiding by precautionary measures when at souks and trading outlets, by wearing face masks correctly, respecting social distancing requirements and avoiding peak hours. She urged shoppers to sanitise their hands regularly for at least 20 seconds, observe physical distancing and avoid touching products displayed at trading outlets. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,977 with 438 recoveries, 334 registered new cases and four deaths. 101 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 223 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The deceased were 66 and 61 year old female citizens and 82 and 80 year old male citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.